Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to log in Zoho Mail in Outlook in 2024. So I'll be showing you how to log in your Zoho Mail through Outlook or basically Outlook through uh, Zoho Mail. By integrating, of course, the Zoho Mail with Outlook, uh, you can manage your emails more effectively. So I'll basically guide you through the setup process. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser from here I'm using Brave for you, you can use what you want. Once you open it, go to the CRL section and just type zuhu.com slash mail and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll be taken here. So go and click on access Zoho Mail. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll find the sign-on option here. Click on it to sign into your account and click on sign up or to create an account if you don't have one. Of course, you'll be able to use a lot of accounts if you don't want to want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. You would like also, as an example, to open your Outlook. So go and open your Outlook example.com uh, account. So you will need your email for sure. So once you've done this as example will require this as example email so basically go now to zoom mail and here just go to settings of course you can go and look for it in integrations here i don't know if it's existing in here oh, sorry i did not mean to open history so i'm looking for outlook is there outlook in here in integrations so it does not seem like there is outlook it's fine Basically, how to do it is simply scroll down to three in here and go and click on mail accounts. So once you click on mail accounts, click on plus button. So in account type, you have two options, IMAP and POP3. For IMAP, you'll need pre premium features. You'll need a better plan than this. So you can go and get this if you want to. But for POP3, you'll find here, choose the external email uh, account provider, Outlook, Zuhu, uh, Office 365, or others. So for me, I'll just go here and choose Outlook. I will go and enter the name of the basically or the email of my outlook right here so outlook i guess.com if i'm not mistaken so no not now age outlook.com so yeah and of course you can delete emails from uh, the server if you want to or you can do whatever you want it's up to you basically so once you enter that in there just go and click on authenticate and of course they will redirect you to your outlook so just go and click on it and yeah you'll have to simply log in into it and as you can see let's this app access infos read and write access your emails read and write access your email basically your mails and access of course to send emails from mailbox read your profile maintains access to that and access trap so just go and give it an accept that and once you accept that, you should be normally good to go. It should be connected with each other. So we'll have just to wait, be patient a little bit until it gets accepted. So I'll just go and click again. Oh, server error, maybe because I clicked twice. So I'll just go and click again. Authenticate. I'll choose again my account right here. So let me just wait a little bit. And yeah, as you can see, new account has been added. So now your Outlook is added to your Zoho Mail without any problems of course you might find like in here that your or you might receive like an email that uh, you've been connected or something like that so yeah as you can see uh, new apps have access to your data of course you can manage your apps from here if you want to remove it later of course you'll be able to do it and of course you'll be able even to connect to other mails like gmail and other stuff i've made videos about it if you want to go and check it out so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye